Hugh Hefner died. Yeah. See that? Can I? All right. Hugh Hefner is responsible for, obviously, all the people are going, like, yeah, what is he responsible for, golf? Some of the, and, and I know this is going to be cliche, but some of the greatest interviews that I've ever seen in my life. Like, the Tupac Playboy interview was outstanding. The Kurt Vonnegut. I mean, like, there, there are certain things that Playboy has done and outside of the pictorials and introducing you to new beautiful women, you know, on a monthly basis. I wasn't a guy or a kid who, like, was scurrying to the local 7-Eleven to get myself, my, myself, you know, my hands on a Playboy. That wasn't my style. No. My, 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 my I next... wasn't either because Penthouse was so much better. Oh, and I was a black tail guy. Let's keep it funky. I mean, I mean let's, you know, I was... <laughs> I, 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 I was pointed in a certain direction, Look, that, that, and that's where I went. That, that's sort of like, I, I understand it's Hertz versus Avis kind of thing, or, <laughs> or McDonald's, Burger King. But Coke it, or it Pepsi. Just, as far as the actual quality of the, but if you if you were there for the right reasons, it was, Penthouse was so much better. See, but that's the, I, I really, so, I mean, come I on. really didn't vibe on that level, until, like, till later on. So, when I finally, I, I really got into those kinds of magazines when I was like, Damn near of age. Like, oh, I was well, a late no bloomer. Fun. Exactly. The, the, the only exception I will say, and it happened to be in the winter of 1983. There it is. Kim Basinger. I mean, there, there's, there's that mm-hmm. and there's everything else. Yeah? That's, yeah. When you're 14 years old and there's that, like, come on. I mean. Yeah? Yeah. There's, there's, you can put whoever you want and miss whatever. And I was miss, introduced they, they, to Kim Basinger and, and and Batman, the first Batman. Okay, movie. that was that, that was, was it. That was my introduction. Later on. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but, but the, the that that pictorial in February of 1983 was yeah that the was, truth. That's a winner. The double truth, Ruth. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's, that's, I, uh, that's I, uh, a winner. His daughter actually, he only had one daughter, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hugh Hefner? No, Christy? Yeah. yeah. She used to call the station when I was producer for Jigs. Like, every once in a while, just saying hello, that type of thing. Like, oh, we're, oh, listen- she's great. Yeah. we're listening here, you know, at the office. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You got you got the hookup. And play-. Like, everybody always talked about the Playboy Mansion and the parties and the grotto and <laughs> getting blotto in the grotto, all those things. He's, did he sell it? He, I, I read somewhere he sold it for like 100 mil, like a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's all. I was about to say, that's, uh, you talk about landmark at, status. They didn't sell it at peak value. I mean, a lot of their properties, because it was once the old Internet started and everything's available right. for free, right. whatever you want. Yeah, the, the only guy that, that continued to pay for that kind of thing was that. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, like, 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 you know the story. Like, Jay and those guys had to tell him, you don't have to, you don't have to buy this right. anymore. It's all free. It's, it's right there for you. And by the way, you don't have to buy CDs anymore. You know, the music is right there for you. But, yeah, I... I um what he did for publications and free speech and human sexuality like you know a lot of a lot of people thought he was a creep some well, people thought he was a pioneer he certainly created what some people would call toxic masculinity in some ways too certainly catalyzed that fomented some of that if you if mm-hmm. that is a a concept in which uh, to which you may subscribe he had a little something to do with that too mm-hmm. but like, what that's I, what I'm saying some people called him a creep some people called him a pioneer what am I, maybe it's it's always both. One of my favorite stories is a friend of mine was who, who's friends with the, the, the Buss family. And they were at a Laker game, and they were in the owner's box. And, you know, Jerry Buss himself had sort of like that Playboy you know, that Cesar yeah. Romero kind of yeah. thing going yeah. on with the expensive yeah. white tracksuit yeah. surrounded by all the young women. And then Hef shows up. And it was like with the eighteen. Oh, it's like you could have had like the tumbleweeds blowing in between them. It was like you. I mean, just the, the octogenarian <laughs> sexualized yeah. stare two, down. Two dudes it's, looking at each yep. other like you can't get it up, and neither can I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this stare down is going to happen until one of us falls right. asleep. And just surrounded by their you know, their coterie of young ladies, like holding them up like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> they got Denny's coupons <laughs> stuffed in their back pockets, right. ready for that four o'clock dinner. I'm going to take your moons over my Hemi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see your Grand Slam breakfast. And I'm going to have it at Jerry, 4 15. Dr. Buss against Hugh Hefner. <laughs> yep. Think, think of that. Like those, the, the peanut those brittle guys. for bones that those dudes <laughs> had at the end there. I mean, yeah, I. Uh, when I when I saw the news this morning, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to react to that. I was like, oh, yeah, he was old. Like, that's that was my thing. Like, yeah, 91. 
I mean, at some point, and if we have anybody in here who's 91, my apologies, but at some point, like, let me go. You know, <laughs> like, 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 if we, if I get to around 81, 82, or 83, just, just grab a pillow and finish me off. You know, finish him. Right? Like, because after that, we're we're talking about you getting plopped down at games you really don't want to be at. You know, you're staring the wrong way, and the ball's on that side of the court. How old? By the, how old is Bill Russell? He's like 86. You see the Somewhere picture of him wearing his Presidential Medal of uh, Freedom? I think he's a little younger than that. He's taking a knee. How old is he, Tanny? Oh, someone tweeted me. I don't know for sure, but they say oh, they come say on. It, was, it was you were laughing it to yourself. Yeah, you were Tracy yeah. McGradying it off the backboard. You're going to say you're bouncing to yourself and not finishing it. Come on. I got to tell you, I know the topic is serious in nature, and he's got his Medal of Freedom on, and he's and he's and he's kneeling, you know, for the for the Kaepernick stuff. But I got to be honest with you, the moment I saw that picture, I thought to myself, this is what it would look like if I asked Bill Russell to babysit my son. <laughs> like that, like that would be that would be the viewpoint of Jace, because he's like he's looking down at the camera. You got all six foot nine of him. Like somebody probably had to help him back up. But Bill Russell, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, what are you gonna do? At, at, after a while, man, it's like every day's the same now, and I'm 36. Well, well Ed like, Asner <laughs> tweeted that. Ed Asner says, "I'm I'm staying with Colin Kaepernick. I'm taking a knee. I just need someone to come over and help me." Out. Yeah, man. Like yeah. after a while, and I know all the people are gonna be like, "Golf hates old people." I don't hate old people. Yeah, you're like a Logan's they, Run kind I of thing. I don't right? hate old people. They're just a scourge on the economy, and something needs to be done about them. <laughs> and they but, smell funny. <laughs> some of them do. They either smell really, really good or really bad. And there's no in between with old people. Yeah, and and their refrigerators are weird. What do you mean? It's, they just get weird. You they get, call them ice boxes. No, you get you get like grandma and grandpa refrigerator. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's like it, ha- it happened overnight to my parents. Like, what do you mean? Like one day I came home to my my childhood home and I said, "Oh, you have like grandparents' fridge now." What is that though? I don't know. It's like, like you're talking I, about the, con- the know, like the contents. It's like, it's of like the, there's fewer you, items in there because they eat out all the time. So it's like it's uh, sparsely populated. There's like a there's like a leftover. So pork it looks shop. like a dorm room fridge. Kind of, but there's like some leftover pork chops, and then there's like some like somebody's medication. <laughs> I was about to you say. know. <laughs> a big thing of vin- Heinz vinegar in right. there for no reason. Right. Just, like, just, Granny, what you doing? You know what I'm talking about, Marshawn. Yeah. So yeah, I, after a while, and I hope this this doesn't come back to bite me because like, what if what if they're like new products out there that can uh, help you you know stay revitalized up until 105 or whatever? But after a while, man, people are just you you're just a bummer to people after a while. <laughs> Like, like, you know, like you can't move the way you want to. You know, your 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 retorts aren't as snappy as they used to be. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's not the same snappy <laughs> retort. You, if your rapier like wit has yeah. been dulled by the ravages of time. Like, like Grampy is sitting there, like, ah, oh, man, I, I I can't see what's on the TV anymore, and. You know, your grandmother doesn't love me. Like, just just go ahead and take me out back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an old yeller. <laughs> I'm talking about myself, by the way. I'm not talking about anybody else. But 91, I woke up this morning. I said, man, that that's a long time to live. That's a win. That's for, for yeah, you. yeah. You got you got beautiful women pretending like they like you. Is Bob Gucci owning a life? Who? The penthouse guy. <laughs> the real pornographer. <laughs> you got your sides. And members of the real pornographer. <laughs> North, you're, the, you're gonna have them fight for the BP Cup <laughs> with Bob Guccione and Hugh Hefner. No, the, but no. The other thing too, the robe was a was a was an absolute ridiculous yeah, he, thing. He, like he died in 2010. Who? Bob Guccione. How old was he? He was 80. Ah, almost. See. Yeah, the decency to go 11 years before Hefner. Robert to. Charles Joseph Edward Sabatini Guccione. That's too many names. Yeah, that's a lot of names. <laughs> that's, that's way too many names. <laughs> and and his kids, na- his, his boys named? Joey? No. <laughs> Anthony? Anthony? Jimmy? Nope. <laughs> Mikey? Nope. Tony? No, it, it is Tony, yeah. Nikki. Uh, Nikki? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. I always quiz you on this. It was like, what do we do? Name the Delmonico kids, right? Yeah, Nikki, Joey, and Anthony, right? I think that's right. Yeah. Anyway, we were doing the Spilatros the other day. Well, 
talking about the Spilatros the other day, and who else were we talking about? Who was the other crime family? Calabrese. Yeah. And who was the other guy? Joey the Clown Lombardo. I don't know why we were going deep in some of the Chicago mob families. The same was... reason why we're talking about old men right now. Cause it's, just this, because? Yeah, there's no, there's no aim. In these segments. I just, just, who was the when Kurt Gowdy, Kurt Gowdy, Chuck Gowdy? It'd be better, <laughs> be, be, be better if Kurt Gowdy showed up at the guy's house. Welcome to American Sportsman. Today, Joey the Clown Lombardo is catching bluefin tuna. I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> No, but when Chuck Gowdy showed up, I'm going to take you. Chuck Gowdy said, "I'm going to take you to the house of the most dangerous man ever in Chicago." And the guy answers the door with his pants right underneath his nipples. He's, hey, can I help you with something? Hey, man, it's this little low-slung, like Elmwood Park bungalow too. And like, this is the most dangerous man in Chicago. Yeah, his, I did what with the who now? His spine is in the shape of a question mark, but he's killed 55 people. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, hey, you put in work. You, doesn't mean Father Time doesn't take no, his toll on like, He doesn't really look dangerous. <laughs> it, it probably was at one point. Yeah. Now you can just push him over and <laughs> fall. Right. That's the other thing, too. Old people get taken advantage of. I don't want to be at the point in my life where, where some young ruffian can do anything to me and I can't chase him for more than six oh, feet. Oh, I thought you meant like an email scam or something. Oh, yeah. That ha- well, that happens to young people, too. I, I uh, we, we know someone who... Married one of those Nigerian princes. <laughs> yes, that's the guy with your food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bust his ass when I see him. <laughs> Snatch his chain. <laughs> yeah, we know we know a young lady who married one of those guys who's like, hey, I'll, I'll give you money if you marry me so I can become a legal resident. Yeah, and she's apparently in love. She doesn't know that she shouldn't be in love. What? I I kid you not. I. At my lady's former job. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, mm. how'd that work out? And she's like, oh, he's really a nice guy. I'm like, oh, blink twice if you're being held hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, These are all the things, man. All the things that go through my silly head.